time for part five. First off, we're going to start off with Metabolize Arm Dragon. A noble creature that is essentially a phantom, nay, a legend. This dragon stands at the very top. It's a normal version of Dark Arm Dragon. Basically, I'm kind of curious to see how he kind of crystallized um, into becoming this form. Uh, but I assume now that the legend is over of uh, the Dark Armed, that he's returned to being a regular monster. Next up is the Rebible. Uh, it's a 700, 300. Uh, you can only use the effect of a Rebible once per turn. If this card is in your graveyard and you have at least five or less cards in your extra deck than your opponent, you can pay 2,000 life points, special summon this card from your graveyard, and then banish this card if it leaves the field uh, that was special summoned by this effect. Not bad. If you're playing Monarchs, it just gives you another recurrable target by paying 2k life points. It's neither good nor bad. Um, I I'm okay with it. Uh, next up, Hero Challenger Thousand Bobble. Uh, you can only apply the number two effect of this card once per turn. Um, the first effect is actually really good. Once per turn, you can discard one heroic card. Special summon one heroic monster from your deck, and if you do, switch this card to defense mode. Uh, you can act after you activate this effect. You can special summon, or you can not special summon uh, monsters for the rest of turn, except for heroic monsters. Seems okay. And if this card is in your graveyard, when you take damage, you can special summon this card from your graveyard and face up attack position. Not bad. Uh, next up is Dragon Star Materialization. Uh, another continuous trap card. Once per turn, if a monster you control is destroyed by battle or by card effect, and special summon one Dragon Star monster from your deck. That's pretty good. Uh, you cannot special summon monsters from your extra deck except for synchro monsters. Uh, once again, also really good. Uh, very good effects for what this card is. Uh, next up. It's Serious Duel. It's a counter trap card. Uh, when a monster effect or a spell trap card effect is activated during the damage step, negate the activation, and if you do, destroy it. Finally, uh, another very good counter trap card, and I will say I am happy to see more anti damage step support, uh, especially some of the broken stuff. Uh, next up, the Monarch Storm Fourth. You can only activate one the Monarch Storm Fourth per turn. Uh, you cannot search some monsters from your extract in the turn you activate this. That's fine. Once per turn, during this turn, when you attribute someone a monster, you contribute one monster your opponent controls instead of one you control. Uh, very straightforward, very powerful card, and it's a quick play soul exchange. So now we have six soul exchange to add to the Monarch's arsenal. Uh, next up, C, the Splendid Spy. I like this art just because I, I want to have an alteration of this done for some movie references. Uh, it's a 1200-1300. When this card is normal summoned, randomly look at one card in your opponent's extra deck. If that monster has 2000 or more attack, this card gains 1000 attack. Or if it has less than 2000 attack, you gain life points equal to its attack. But the artwork is very good. I wish this would be a playable card to be honest with you. Next up, these three. Intermate, uh, M Boat. Booey, the first one. I uh, use the one at the far left. Um, 516. When this attack position monster is targeted for an attack, you can change this card to defense mode, and if you do negate the attack, mm, just a little bit more intermediate support. Um, the next one, I believe, is the B. Uh, oh no, excuse me. The next one is the one all the way at the right. You can only use the effect of Dogu once per turn. During the end phase, if this card is in, was sent to the graveyard, by your opponent's card effect, you can add one monster from your deck to your hand whose level does not exist on in your field or graveyard. Hmm. But it has to be by opponent's card effect, so it's not too good. And then Bunborg is the one in the middle. This card gains 500 attack and defense for each machine type monster you control. And if you control two or more machine type monsters, uh, oh, excuse me, if two or more machine type monsters are special summoned, at the same time, uh, while f while this card is in your graveyard, especially on this card, um, it's okay. Uh, it's a tuner, which is kind of hot, but that's that. So the next set here, you will see these guys right here. They are basically the heavyweights. Um, the first one is a zero two thousand. Uh, when this card is normal summon or special summon, you can change this card's battle position and this card cannot be destroyed by battle. Not good or bad. And then the 9999 Heavyweight Shmusha Sword 999. Uh, when he's normal summoned or special summoned, you can switch his battle position. And after damage calculation of a heavy mush or a heavyweight Musha monster you control, uh, that battle on opponent's monster, make that opponent's monster's attack zero. 
Oh, excuse me, attack and defense zero. That's not bad. Uh, but overall, some pretty interesting cards in this set. Some pretty cool artwork. So guys, leave a comment down below. Tell me you guys think, and I'm out. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Please thumbs up this video to show your support. And please check out Vancole 40 for Cardfight Vanguard, M. Cole Games for miscellaneous trading card games, and No Limit Gaming for a brand new series of Yu-Gi-Oh! videos. Thanks for watching.